Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good Hello. Evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Hello. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Good. How was how was your weekend? Good. Good. Excellent. Where where did you go? What did you do? What places did you visit? Hmm? What places did you visit? Um, what places did you visit? Okay. The beach. Okay. In your house. The beach. Okay, good. Stay in your house. Okay. You want to visit your mother, your father. You went to the stadium, no? Okay. Let's see, for example, the, remember the questions we had about where are you, uh, where, what, who, oh, okay, Milagro, my house. Okay, good. That's safe. Okay, good. And that's good. Okay. What about what about you, um, Samuel? Where did you go? Where Where did you go? ¿A dónde fue? Where did you go? In your house, stay, and then you say, for example, I stay in my house. I went to the beach. Okay, I uh, I played soccer, or I watched TV. I went to the movies. Okay, different activities, right? Or I I cleaned the house. Limpiar la casa, right? So there's another one. I went to the. I went to the market, okay? So different activities. I'm going to check. The... Okay. Remember Straight how this topic is used. Okay, I'm going to... Okay. Don't forget to turn off your, your microphones. Interferencia sonido, ok. Thank you, thank you. Ok, now we're going, les voy a poner nuevamente el video que vimos el último el jueves para retomar la clase, right? And then we can go back to. And then we can go back to the class. Uh, this is the one. Este es lo que estamos viendo, right? Where questions would be. We'll start by listening to a quick audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh no! 
no. Where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they're on the table in the restaurant. <sighs> Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See? No problem. And is this your wallet? Hmm, no, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Let's try to make sense of the chart that you see on the screen. In order to form yes or no questions, we're going to follow the next formula. Verb to be plus this, or in this case could be these, plus some kind of complement. So, verb to be plus subject plus complement. In this case, we want to say that the subject is uh, this or these. So let's try to make some examples. As you can see on the screen, the example is this your wallet. We have the verb to be. In this case, happens to be is. And then we're going to use this. The complement in this case is your wallet. And then, of course, we put a question mark there. Um, the other example that you see on the screen, are these your keys? Uh, we have a verb to be, these, your keys. And of course, we put a question mark at the end. Let me give a couple of more examples. Is this... your cell phone question mark at the end are these your things in order to answer this type of questions you're typically going to answer with yes it is no it's not if it's plural for example Yes, they are. No, they're not. Now that we understand yes or no questions with B, let's explore WH questions with B. We're going to follow a similar rule for WH questions. Let me go ahead and put that on the screen. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus complement. The rule is very simple and it's quite similar as making yes or no questions. The only difference is that now we are adding a WH So what are WH words? Let me explain. We use WH words to get information from others. For example, who, what, when, where, how, why, are some examples of WH words. Now let's put that rule into practice. If we look at um, the example on the chart, right, we can see the question towards the right hand side. It says, where is your wallet? So if we follow that rule, we're going to put a WH word plus the verb to be plus some kind of complement wallet and of course we put a question mark there where is your wallet where are my keys how are you today why are you hungry where is the police station to answer WH questions you now need to give information for example, for the question, where is your wallet? Notice that the answer is, it's in my pocket. And also, all those questions that you heard on the conversation a few minutes ago. Now, it's your turn to make as many examples as possible. Practice making yes or no questions and WH questions.
you should answer those questions as well. The more you practice, the easier this topic will become for you. Okay. For the WH word, why, for the question, where is your wallet? Notice that the answer is, it's in my pocket. And also, so all those questions that you heard on the conversation a few minutes ago. Now, it's your turn to make as many examples as possible. Practice. All right. So then here, uh, there are some questions, examples, and that you can practice, for example, uh, where is your book? Okay, where is your book? It's on the table. Okay, who is your boss? Quien es su jefe? Who is your boss? Uh, Mr. Smith. Okay. What is your favorite sport? ¿Cuál es su uh, deporte favorito? You can say, for example, what is your favorite food? ¿Cuál es su comida favorita? Uh, what is your favorite uh, uh, movie? Okay, and who se puede usar también? Who is your favorite actor? Okay, so these questions, um, they require creativity, right? A lot of creativity. Going to For example, you can say, who, who is your favorite actor? Or, um, or actress? Okay, who's your favorite actor? Uh, you can say, for example, um, I don't know, maybe um, Morgan Freeman. And um, actress, Sandra Bullock. Okay. Marta, who is your favorite actor? Who is your favorite actor? Uh, what is the name? Eugenio Derbez. I don't know, maybe, um, uh, what is the name? Omar Chaparro, right? Could be actor. Uh, who else can it be? Milagro, who's your favorite actor? My favorite actor is Keanu Reeves. Hey, Matrix. My favorite actor is Keanu Reeves. Reeves, right? Hey, and uh -huh. um, Angelina Jolie. Okay, and Angelina Jolie. Okay, good. Okay, so you can see who is my favorite actor. Y aquí está la pregunta. Who? Who is? Lo que acabamos de estar viendo, right? Uh, you can also use what is Your favorite food. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is pupusas, right? Or what else? My favorite food is a eat 
Karna, right? Fish. Um, what else? Teacher. Teacher, no, teacher, no. No, hamburger. Ah, okay, good. Yes, I said my favorite food is a teacher. No. Okay, yes, good. Hamburger. Chicken. Yes. Chicken, yeah, that's correct. Good. Is chicken. Uh huh. My favorite food is chicken. Is pizza. My favorite food is pizza. Okay, my favorite food is Don Pollo, right? Yeah, no. Yeah, that's it's delicious. My favorite food is um hot dog. Hot dog, yes. My favorite food is uh, Lord Fries. <laughs> French fries. French. Uh, La, no la puedo pronunciar bien, teacher. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. French fries, good. Lord, ¿Cómo es, teacher? Lord, French? Lord fries o... No. Lo que podemos tener que preguntarnos también. Papas, papas fritas, French fries. ¿Cómo, cómo? French fries. French fries. Uh -huh. ¿Qué es eso? French, las papas fritas. Ah, papas fritas. Acá vienen en el... En los, <laughs> McDonald's, with the hamburgers. French French fries. French fries. Okay, French fries. Okay, what else? Lasagna. What? Lasagna. Chinese food. Lasagna. Chinese food. Chinese. Chinese. Food. Okay. Okay. You see what? Now, where? Ya vimos quién, qué, where is your favorite place. ¿Cuál es su lugar favorito? ¿Dónde está su lugar favorito? In the house. In the house. In the house. In the house. In the beach. In the living room, in the sala, living room, uh, for example, at the beach, in, in the, the park, in the, at the mall, <laughs> in, the in the centro comercial, me dijeron, at the mall, in this, in the street, in the street, okay, see, ahí jugando fútbol, en la casa, el parque, cómo se in the park. In the ro restaurant. In the restaurant, okay. In the restaurant, okay. You see, for example, now we have what? who. Now we have where. Okay. ¿Qué otra palabra vi para hacer preguntas? How. How is your, your brother? ¿Cómo está su hermano? Su hermana. Okay, how is your brother? Uh, sister. Okay, mother. Okay, there you go. How are you? How are you? Okay. Uh, how? How's your job? Le van el trabajo, right? How's your job? Then you can say, okay. Um, yes, hermano, he is fine. Yes, hermana, she is fine. Also, mama, right? How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. 
How is your job? Uh, okay. Okay. What is the other word? Apart from how? Why? Then you have how, then we have the next question, which is why. Why are you sad? Porque está triste. Why are you sad? Because why are you sad? Because I am tired. Because cansado, cansada, right? And you can use this one. Parte de, de triste puede ser happy. Why are you happy? Why are you lonely? Porque está solo, porque está sola. Okay. Why are you uh, angry? Está enojado o enojada, right? Why are you? Why are you hungry? Porque tiene hambre. Okay, y en todas van a responder con because. Because I am tired. Why are you happy? Because it is my day off. Es mi día libre. Why are you lonely? Because my family are, no, my fam, no, because my uh, wife. Teacher, one question. Uh -huh, is in the park, yes? Uh, uh, of significa, tiene varios como significados. Yes, sir, yes. Sí, porque también lo, he, también lo he escuchado en, en encendido y apagado, o sea... Es correcto. A, hay varias palabras que como que tienen varios significados. Sí, son diferentes funciones. Entonces, depende del contexto, así se, así se interpretan en el idioma, así es. Entonces, el off tiene get off, eh, turn off, switch off, eh, back off. A day off, then it has different meanings, different uh, functions, different functions. That's correct. Yes, thank you. Aquí está como día libre, como el día, como el día apagado para mí, right? Este día estoy apagado. I'm day off. Yes, it's my day off. Good. Así entendí yo. <laughs> ah, exacto. Okay. So then we have tired, my day off, eh, happy, lonely, because my wife is in the park. Porque está solo, porque mi esposa está en el parque, porque mi esposa en el mercado, whatever. Eh, why are you angry? Porque está enojado. Because, eh, because, 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 is, uh, let's say because is now because my book is lost. My book is lost. And why are you hungry? Because
I am because I have no food porque no tengo comida, right? Why am I hungry? Good. Entonces, aquí están las respuestas, right? De why are you happy? Pero ustedes ven, why are you? ¿Por qué? Y la razón es, esta es la, la causa, el por qué uno, eh, la razón, se pide la razón y la razón es, y aquí está la causa, right? That's the way that you could use it. Okay, no problem. Uh, as you can see, there are many, many, many uh, different uh, examples, right? Hay muchísimas formas de usar esas palabras. Okay, aquí les he puesto unos ejemplos con sus preguntas y su respuesta, right? Y ustedes pueden escribir ahí varias otras para que practiquen, okay? Good. Now we have this one. For example, we have instructions, complete the conversation, select the answers for each sentence. In this one, you're going to use, for example, umbrella, you're gonna use what? What is the word that is missing here? ¿Qué palabra se falta? Look at this question and tell me which word do you think is missing? Is. Exactly, right? And you can use here, is. Is this your umbrella? No, it's not. And then for the number two? R. R, because this is plural, right? Are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thanks. Number three? Where? Son las que acabamos de ver, right? Where? Where? Donde? Where are my glasses? Okay, where are my glasses? My glasses are in my hand. Okay, where are my glasses? My glasses are in my hand. Or is this my pen? No. No? It's not. It's not. not. It's not, it's mine, okay? okay. Mine. Okay. And there you have, is this. Questions with where is this? Okay, it is and they're not. Singular and plural, okay? Singular and plural. That's important. Okay, questions about the vocabulary? No? Okay, in this one we have prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects, okay? These are called also Prepositions of place. So, estas son preposiciones para dar eh, ubicaciones más eh, exactas, right? De dónde están las cosas. Por ejemplo, in, si ven el dibujito, es dentro, correct? In front of? A la par. No es enfrente de, sino que in front of es. Adelante de. Okay. Cuando ustedes van al cine, cuando ustedes van al cine, 
hay uno que se llama líneas de asientos, right? Uh -huh. Entonces, usted está sentada acá y si hay una línea, esa línea está adelante. Muchas veces nosotros en español decimos está enfrente, pero enfrente es lo que está al contrario. La pantalla donde vemos la película, esa sí ya la tenemos across from, que sería enfrente. Ok. Entonces, eh, en inglés, cuando dice in front of, se refiere a algo así. En algunos contextos, a veces se usa igual que en español y en otros se pone como adelante de. ¿Ok? Ahí se ve que las llaves están adelante. Si ven en la siguiente, this one is behind. Detrás. Detrás de. Detrás de. Por ejemplo, yo tengo... Two curtains, dos cortinas behind me. Okay, two curtains. And here in front of me, the computer. Y delante de mí, la computadora, right? Then on. Encima. Sobre. Encima o sobre, correct. Next to. A la par. A la par, correct. And under. Debajo. Abajo. Abajo de. Ok, under de. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to use prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects. You'll learn the prepositions in, in front of, behind, on, next to, and under. Let's start by looking at the images on the screen. The images illustrate the preposition and its meaning. Let's start with the preposition in. We will start with the example. The question is, where are the keys? The keys are in the box. The next one, where are the keys? The keys are in front of the box. Where are the keys? We can see the keys are behind the box. The keys are behind the box. Where are the keys? The keys are on the box. The keys are on the box. Where are the keys? The keys are next to the box. The keys are next to the box. Where are the keys? The keys are under the box. Now is your turn to make some examples. Look at the images on the screen and practice making the questions and answers, just like we did a minute ago. Then I would like for you to share your work in our discussion forums. The keys are next to the box. The keys are next to the box. Where are the keys? The keys are under the box. Now is your turn to make some examples. Look at the images on the screen and practice making the questions and answers. Just Okay. For example, if you see the picture number one, here it says the books are in the book bag. What is the question? The question is... Hmm. The question would be in the book bag. Where in the book bag are in the, book bag. the books? Okay, this is the question. Esta es la pregunta, okay? Then la respuesta ya están prácticamente escritas aquí, right? The books are in the book bag. But the question is where are the books? The books are in the book bag. Now, the next question is the number two. What is the question? Where 
Yes, singular. The DVD player. Okay, where is the DVD player? The answer? The DVD player? Next to. Uh huh. Is next to what? Next to? Television. The TV, correct. Yes, the TV or television, no problem. Okay, good. What is the next question? Number three, what is the question? Where is, where mm -hmm. is? Okay, where is? The map. Where's the map? Okay. Uh-huh, where is the map? The answer? The map. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The map. Um. Eh, no, the newspaper is on. The map is under. Okay, very good. Under on the newspaper. Yes, good. Under the newspaper. Okay, the map is under the newspaper. Okay, so I'm going to right? For example, we have. Vemos ahí que el DVD está a la par de la TV, right? The, news, the map is under the newspaper. The books are in the back. Okay, and the number four? Where is the chair? Where is the chair? Good, where is the chair? And the answer? The chair. Mm -hmm. The chair is the chair is behind yeah um the uh, the desk that's correct the chair is behind the desk good next one five where is the wallet where is the wallet hey don't install a billetera Pero no la chivo wallet, okay, this is another wallet. Where is the wallet? Okay, here. The wallet? Uh -huh. The wallet is on the purse. On the purse. Okay, good. This are back to me, no problem. And the last one? Where is the cell phone? Where is the cell phone? Okay, good. Yes. The cell phone is in front of the address book. In front of The, the address book. Address book. Okay. Got it? 
No problem. Got it. Very good. Okay, as you can see here, that was the idea, right? To write examples like this so that you can have, uh, yes, in out. Thank you. Okay, and here, for example, where is the DVD player? It's next to the TV. Okay, yes. Where is where is the map? Remember, Mr. El Mapa is it is under. Okay, you can write, for example, here always you use. Where is the map? Recuerden que cuando ya usamos un, un nombre, podemos usar el pronombre y el pronombre para mapa es it. Entonces se dice it is under the newspaper. En español no es necesario. Pues es que a veces nos cuesta un poco más acostumbrarnos a usarlo en inglés, right? Where is the map? It's under the newspaper. Okay, so this is one way that you can use it. Okay. Then you can... Uh, And then you can practice more sentences. Okay, good. Eh, preguntas del vocabulario. Nope. Okay, here you're going to listen to. Okay. So we said, for example, the, the books are in, in the back, right? In the back would be one. The map is on the newspaper. You already told me the chair is behind. Behind that desk. Okay. Esto les puede servir de repaso para los que ya lo hicieron, right? The wallet is on the purse. And the cell phone is in front of the address book. Okay, so we have uh, separated. We have to write it all as. You can write it here. This is the other option. Or separate. What happened with this one? What is the correct one here? School bag? There you go, school bag. Ven que con una palabrita que uno no ponga a veces se puede salir mal, ¿verdad? Un espacio, aquí puede ser una letra, la S, o puede estar unido también y lo acepta. Ok, pero si le quitan una letra, no se la va a aceptar, ok? So that's the... Entonces hay que tener siempre mucho cuidado. Eso le llaman case sensitive que es eh, sensitivo a cualquier eh, error que, por ejemplo, no haya sido 
eh, previamente calculado. Por ejemplo, acá les acepta in front of the address book, separado. Se los acepta unido el address book. Eh, les acepta también el address book. Esta es la misma. Ah, que las pongan todas en mayúscula. Todas en mayúscula. También lo aceptaría. Ok. So that's the problem. Good, good, good. What about the next? We're almost done. Now location of other people's objects. Okay. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre las preguntas que acabamos de ver y estas? O sea, es la misma pregunta de dónde, pero digamos el sentido de la pregunta. ¿Cuál sería la diferencia? Hearing. ¿Perdón? Hearing. Eh, hearing. Yeah, no, pero me refiero a... Um, en las anteriores, las preguntas iban dirigidas a qué o a quién. On the people. ¿En la anterior? Uh, the object. Aha, uh -huh, exactly, right? It's the object. You say, where, where, is the, where, is, where are the books? Uh, where are the keys? Where is the purse? Where is the map? Where is the newspaper? O sea, en general, ¿dónde está el periódico? ¿Dónde está esto? ¿Dónde está lo otro? But in this one, is, for example, the possessions of people, okay? For example, you say, where are Kate's earrings? Okay. Uh -huh. No? Okay. Where are Kate's earrings? Esta rayita que usted ve aquí arriba, que le llamamos apóstrofe, y esta S acá significa D. Por ejemplo, ustedes dirían ahí, uh -huh, yes. Where are Kate's significa the cage. Por ejemplo, si yo digo Milagro, ¿me puede mostrar su teléfono? Mi teléfono. <risas> ¿O en el teléfono está viendo la clase? Ah, va. Entonces, ¿me puede mostrar eh, algo que tenga ahí cerca? Un objeto. Ok. People, ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué era? Lo que les enseñó Milagro. Paper. No vimos. The book. Ah, the book. Yes. Yes, it's Milagro's book. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh, exacto. You can say, for example, that is... Vale, so voy a poner, vean en el chat, le voy a poner that's milagros book. Ok. El primer apóstrofe ese que aparece ahí se refiere al is. That is. Ese es. Donde aparece milagros, con el apóstrofe y la S. Ese es un posesivo que significa de milagros. Milagros. De milagros. Posesión. De milagros. Ok. Come on. Ok. For example, you say, that's Milagro's book. Es el libro de Milagro. And then we have Blanca. Hello, Blanca. Sí. Está ahí. Bye. Yes. 
Yes. Ok. Eh, por ejemplo, no, no la voy a, no voy a encender la cámara, no hay problema. Solamente eh, blancas. ¿Cómo se le pertenece? Blancas. Casi no le oigo. Hay interferencias. Ya, con el micrófono. Okay. Then we can say, for example, blancas. Look at this. Blank. Blancas. Camera is off. Okay, Samuel. Ahí aparece el off como apagada. Yes. Blancas camera is off. Uh, we can say, for example, Adela's camera is on. Yes. So, in, for example, Brandon's uh, Brandon's screen is green. Bueno, yo así la veo. La pantalla así de, de Brandon se ve verde. O solo yo la veo así. Muy buen efecto especial, Brandon. Yes, teacher, it's green. It's green, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. So then they say Brandon's screen is green. La pantalla de Brandon es verde. Eh, déjeme ver qué más podemos ver acá. Eh, esperanza. Eh, esperanzas. Smile is nice. Eh, ahí está. La sonrisa de esperanza, sí, bien agradable. ¿eh? Siempre está sonriendo. Nunca está serio. ¿Ah? <risa> ok. So, ese esperanza es smile. Right? O sea, la, la sonrisa de esperanza es agradable. Right? Eh, por ejemplo, miren, Jocelyn. Jocelyn's, Jocelyn's hair. Jocelyn's hair is long and curly. Okay. Sí, Jocelyn. Su cabello es largo y así rizado. Yes. ¿Verdad que sí? Ok. Entonces, si ven ahí está Jocelyn, Esperanzas, Brandon, Sadelas, ok. Entonces, esa postura que aparece ahí estamos hablando de algo que le pertenece a esta persona, ok. Entonces, por ejemplo, uh, Daisy's pencil is red. ¿Es Daisy? Sí, sí ¿verdad? Pencil. El lápiz de Daisy es rojo. Yes. Yes. They say, for example, Daisy's pencil is red. Ok. And also say that. And let's see, what else, what else, what else? Okay. This is the one that I'm going to put here. Somebody's. Somebody's make microphone. It's on. ¿Qué dice ahí? En esa última que les puse. Somebody's microphone is on. Un millón de dólares a que me diga la respuesta en español. Alguien tiene el micrófono. El micrófono, está encendido. Encendido. El micrófono de alguien. Alguien. Ajá. Vean, a veces puede ser bien específico y a veces puede ser bien general, ¿verdad? 
So acá decimos el micrófono de alguien. Somebody's microphone is on. Okay, el micrófono de alguien está encendido. Or you can say, for example, uh, ¿por qué? Bueno, por ejemplo, you can say, for example, my... On. Ok, mi micrófono está encendido. My microphone is on. Si ven, aquí ya ocupo el my. Ya me ocupo, estoy hablando de mi micrófono. My microphone is on. Ok. Ok. Good. Then we have, for example, here, where are Kate? Vamos a escuchar acá. And then... Somebody... Somebody's dog is barking. Uh, uh, somebody's dog barking. Uh, Está ladrando. Está ladrando. Okay. Somebody's dog is barking. Okay, here we go. Where are my earrings? Are they on the table? No. Oh, here they are, in my purse. Now, where's my watch? Hmm. It's not in my purse. Where? There it is, in front of the television. Oh, of course. Thanks, Joe. Let's see. My sunglasses, where are they? Next to my watch? No. Are they behind your purse? No, they aren't. Oh, they're on the chair. Great. Now, I just need one more thing. My address book. It's probably on the table. No, it's <laughs> under the table. It's under the table. Okay. So the number one we have, where are Kate's earrings? In? In the purse, right? Now, where is her watch, Ivania? Where is Kate's watch? Front of television. In television, correct. Good. Where are Kate's sunglasses? Um, let me see, I have here somebody. Daisy, where are Kate's sunglasses? On the chair. On? The chair. On the chair. Okay. And where is Kate's address book? It is. I have curiosity for listening to it is. Hello, it is. Hola, hola. El microphone, el micrófono. Soy un ruido. Okay. Good. Esperanza. What is number four? What is Kate's address book? Iris no quiere hablar con nosotros. Hello, Iris. Escribe en el chat. Ahí está. Hola. Hola, ahí está. Sabía que existía, Iris. Okay. Okay. What is the number four? Under the table, in front of the television, on the chair, or on the purse. Anybody? 
in front of the television. In front of the television. Okay, right. Good. Thank you. Uh, let's see. And then we have okay, one, two, three, and four. Okay, no. I think this one was under the table. Yes. I need four, four C. And the, uh, the address book is under the table. Mm. Okay. Those are the answers. Okay. What is who's that sound? Se durmió. Jacqueline. No, Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Okay. Wake up. <ríe> Tengo que, mañana le puedo poner música. Despierta <ríe> <ríe> los profe. A Pat Bunny le voy a traer mañana. <ríe> ok. <ríe> qué, buen, qué rico de dormir. Ok, good. All right. So then we have the, then for tomorrow, we're going que ya to. Una compañera. Yes, she's tired. <sighs> cansada. Está cansada. Well. Okay. <laughs> okay, then uh, for tomorrow, we have the next one, which is a conversation. Okay, wait. <sighs> Oh, this is the, okay, no, 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 wait. The unit. Mañana tenemos que comenzar con. Okay. Profe, pero usted puede silenciar el micrófono, ¿verdad? Pero sí, pero no. De quien yo creo que no lo puedo silenciar. Me sale que no. O sea, ya le di varias veces, pero no se puede. Que algunas veces. Ahora sí, yo creo que. No siempre puede. Ok. Eh, tomorrow we're going to start with the section 3. Okay, comenzamos la sección 3, que es. From. Okay, so where are you from? And then tomorrow. Okay, voy a dejar de cansar ya para que van a dormir tranquilitos. Okay. Okay. Es que no me va a dar sueño a mí también. Okay. Uh, where are you from? Huh? Le está dando envidia, profe. No, pues sí, ya, ya. Ya, 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 con un poquito de sueño. No, ok, um, es que miren, no, la verdad que saben que, por ejemplo, para, ¿qué hacen ustedes para no quedar como están sentados? ¿No? Ya ahorita para... estoy pensando, yo estoy pensando en las tareas, eso me deja despierto. Ajá, es que, una es la tarea, otra es, por ejemplo, eh, ¿cómo es que se llama? Eh, ponerse activo, estarse moviendo o algo, que okay, tomar agua, ok, yo a veces tengo mi cafecito acá y todo. Porque sí, a veces demasiado tiempo, ya más, más si uno está relajando y empieza a quedarse. ¿no? También lo que hago es venirme para afuera, ah, aquí en la casa, como está fresco. Exacto. Un poquito. El calor también. también se... Ok, people. So, have a very good night. See you tomorrow, ok? Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 b